from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back. The time now is 623. You heard Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson last week telling us it's time to get our flu shots. But with flu season upon us, we wanted to find out if there are any connections with heart and the flu that you need to know about. So we've asked Baptist Health cardiologist Dr. Anthony Fletcher to answer those questions for us this morning. Good morning, Dr. Good morning. Fletcher. Always great awesome? to see you. Yes, it is flu season. We've heard already get those flu shots. Now it's time to start thinking about that. Absolutely. What is your message to your patients? Well, first of all, we all should think about getting the flu shot uh, every year on a general basis, unless there are some reasons that you can. Uh, there are many of us that are at risk for, for the flu. People with chronic illnesses such as diabetes, heart disease, chronic lung disease, the very young, the very old, and even you and I who are exposed to the public on a regular basis, we're at increased risk for the flu. So we certainly should consider getting the flu vaccine. What are the potential um, complications from the flu on the heart or ca cardiovascular issues? Absolutely. Well, the virus, the flu virus itself, creates an environment in our body that potentiates the potential for heart disease. It causes an inflammatory state, which can lead to problems with development of plaques and progression of plaques or sudden rupture of plaques. And this is stuff that may not show up until later, well Absolutely. after you've had the flu, right? Correct. Yeah. Usually the, the flu season, we see a peak in heart rates sometimes mm -hmm. about two weeks after the flu season starts to peak. And so certainly we can see this develop as the flu goes along. Okay, uh, talking about congestive heart failure, you can, uh, or can you elaborate a little bit on um, how that, uh, how the flu virus can affect the muscles of the heart? Absolutely. The influence of virus creates a toxic state in the body, and that toxin can actually influence the heart muscle itself, causing the heart to become weak. And as a result of that weakness, we can develop what's called a cardiomyopathy. Uh, in children, we see an inflammation process called myocarditis, and so children very young can develop a very weak heart leading to congestive heart failure, and adults also can develop this same problem. What happens is that heart can be very normal. Everyday person walking around, and they get the flu, and then as a result of this virus, the, the muscle becomes weak, and because of that weakness, it becomes congested, and we have the symptoms of congestive heart failure. So then what are those symptoms? That we those symptoms can be just, first of all, fever with the flu itself, shortness of breath, fatigue, swelling, chest discomfort can be some of the general things that we have that uh, we see with the flu. And so the take home message as always. Always prevention is the key. I mean, that's why we're here today to talk about prevention. So one of the things we can do in the flu season is take the flu shot. And lots of misconceptions out there, most that are not true. That's very true. Yeah. And if you have questions, you should talk to your healthcare provider or you know, call any of the physicians that you know or your health facilities that you go to and they'll answer those questions Sit for down you. and talk to your doctor instead of getting on the internet. Absolutely. Perhaps. The internet can be helpful though. Right, But right. don't uh, take it all for, for the, the gospel. Okay, thank right. you, Dr. Thank you Fletcher. Much. As always, if you have any questions, you can always give Baptist Health a call on the Baptist Health helpline at 1-888-BAPTIST.